So today's morning's class is who is Srimati Radharani? So it's going to be in three parts. Maybe we can cover all three in the morning. But we'll also review them every time in all the different classes throughout the day. So if something is a little bit too fast and you don't understand it, listen again in, in the next class, I'll probably repeat it again so that you can understand it. Okay. If, if we want to know who Srimati Radharani is, we need to know who Krishna is. So who's Krishna? Well, Krishna is the ultimate cause of everything. The original cause of everything. That's the definition of God. That's the definition of God. Original cause of everything. Now, even if you look into space with a telescope, you'll understand by science that there's an original cause of everything. They call it a singularity. So, Krishna is this original singularity from which everything comes. Vedanta Sutra says Eko Bahu Syat. One shall be many. One single thing becomes many. So this is Krishna. Krishna is this one single thing which becomes many. So if you think about him, what is he like? One essential character that he has is he's expansive. He wants to expand. That's basically the motive of every man. That's why we have children. We want to expand. Krishna is that original, that original principle that principle of expanding, becoming many. But why? Why does Krishna, the original one cause of all causes, want to become many? The Vedanta Sutra also explains why. Well, this is Vedanta Sutra summarizing all the Upanishads. So you also find this statement in several Upanishads. Ananda Maya. Ananda Maya Pyasa. This is why the one wants to become many, because of Ananda. What's Ananda? Bliss. Bliss. Bliss is the print, bliss is the thing that makes one original cause want to become many things. Taitari Upanishad says, Raso Vai Sa. Raso, Ananda, this original singularity, it's not some mathematical formula. The original singularity is bliss. The original singularity is rasa. And because of being blissful, he wants to expand. <laughs> because if, if he expands, the bliss increases. Just see. I could talk about this to my son Banu, and it would be blissful. I could just think about it in my mind, it would also be blissful, but not as blissful as if I talk to somebody else. 
まあ、例えば私はこの喜びを一つ自分に秘めているところがそれを息子の前にそのことを話すそうするともっとその喜びが広がります一人で持っててもいいけど一人で持っているよりも誰かに話した方が喜びを増えます But if several devotees come, and we're all talking together about this, it's even more blissful. So, we have to soon be able to do all the other. So, we have to soon be able to do all the other. So, we have to soon be Can you imagine what if this class was happening now at Yahoo Dome? And Yahoo Dome was, oh, you don't know Yahoo Dome, you people are from Tokyo. <laughs> <laughs> Salt Bay Hawks. You don't know Salt Bay Hawks? Ah, no. Uh, South Bank Hawks, you know, you know. Everybody knows. Come on. Yahoo Dome is a big stadium. Yeah. Baseball stadium. Yahoo Stadium. Yahoo Stadium. Yahoo Dome. Yahoo Dome. Yahoo Dome. Tokyo Dome. Tokyo Dome. Imagine if this class was going on in Tokyo Dome. Okay, okay. How wow, there would be so much. Wow, the class is going in Tokyo Dome is 300,000 people. Wow. <laughs> The more, the merrier. But if you have a party, oh, the worst thing in the world is if you throw a party and nobody comes. <laughs> <laughs> Krishna does not want to be Hitori Bochi. Krishna wants to be Taksan. So that it's fun, many, many. That's why singularity. That's why Eko Bahusya. So、uh, here's my Japanese poem. Many helpers. <laughs> Father Nandini has helped me. Tapasumi has helped me. Many people have helped me. But here it goes. Ready? p r a b h u you should play Taiko. Mujo Kofuku. Mujo Kofuku o Hyou Mei Suru Tame Ni. Hitotsu Ga Taksan Ni Nare. This explains. Ananda Moya Vyasa Eko Bahusya. Okay? You like it? You like it? No, they're not so sure about it. Mujo? Mujo Kofuku. Mujo no Kofuku. Mujo no Kofuku. Mujo no Kofuku. Sometimes no is important, huh? It is important. Mujo no Kofuku. Yo mei. So the Yuma, yo mei is important. First I thought it was moto mete, but no. It's not moto mete. It's not Mujo Kofuko Motomete. No, he's not searching for happiness. It's Shome s u t a m i He's expressing his happiness. Yeah. Mujo no Kofuko, Shome s u t a m i Ni, Hitotsu ga Taksan ni na. Arawase is better. Yeah, Taksan. Arawase is better. Arawase? Arawase. Arawase is better. Where? In what part? In this case. Instead of Shome s u Arawase is better. Arawase is better. Okay, so do you understand this point? It's because of bliss that one becomes man. Now, what's bliss? What is it? Is it just. Oh, I can't talk about this anymore. <laughs> What is bliss? Is it just. Is that bliss? <laughs> you, can, you can go to the Shinjuku or whatever wherever the night spot is. And you... <laughs> is that bliss? But they go home. They go home with a headache and they go home with a h e a d a c h They actually feel miserable about themselves. So, every, what really is bliss? It's love. I wa shiwase. Love is bliss. Bliss is love. I wa shiwase. Shiwase wa ai des. So, what is love? Well, that's another class. <laughs> 
But I just tell quote you the verse, and you probably know. Anan, Love is this. You know it? You think about it. <laughs> okay. But if the original entity is bliss, and bliss is love, what does it say about the original entity? Does it say that the infer that the original entity is something like a gas or a cloud or a, a, a wave, a wavelength? No, because gases, wavelengths, clouds, bricks. They don't experience love. Conscious, sentient beings experience love. So this is important. The Vedanta Sutra establishes that the original entity That feedback loop is like the one becoming many. Sutra does not support impersonalist philosophy. Because Vedanta Sutra says that Eko Bahusyat, Ananda Maibhatsat, the Vedanta Sutra says that the one original entity is bliss. And bliss cannot be experienced. By the impersonal thing. Bliss is experienced by conscious being. Okay, you understand? You don't understand. You can feel love, right? If I love you, you can tell. And if I hate you, you can tell. Can this? If I, maybe I love this cushion. Oh, this cushion is just so nice. Look, look, it has one thing for each one of my. <laughs> it's so that I love this cushion. Does this cushion know or feel that I love it? So, if the original entity is something which is experiencing bliss, can it be something like this? だから、まあ、そのあいを感じられないようなそんなものはと思いますか。そうじゃないですよね。意識なるものあなたのように意識のあるものなんです。ニュースね。そこは感じでしょうか。オッケー。This is a so that's why one becomes many, and this one being is called Krishna, and the expanding, the expansion is Radha. So far, so good. 
Yeah. Yeah. You might get a degree, a PhD in Vedanta Sutra. <laughs> <laughs> pay, pay good attention. <laughs> now I have a question for you. How do you think he does it? By what instrument or tool or talent can one become many? Any idea? Cloning. 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 The expansion of Krishna. So there's a book called Tattva Deepika, which defines Shakti. Shakti, Karma Nishta, Karyot Padana, Yoga, Dharma Vishesh. Shakti is some power that is within a cause. That allows the cause to have an effect. So there's three things. Right? Actually, I wanted to have like a whiteboard to draw for you to, to write it down. That's okay. So there's three, three entities. The cause. The effect. I think so. Let's hear something. The cause, the effect, and the power that causes the effect. So, karma, karya, shakti. Anyway, I know I have to give you an example for this. So, I thought about an example. Okay, great. Very good, who said that? Great. Okay, so I'll give you an example so that you can wake up. Uh, a father can produce children. So the father is the cause and the child is the effect. But the mother is a shakti. You see? Here's another example. A violin can make music. So the violin is the cause and the music is the sound is the effect. The violin. Violin does not make music. Not the violin. <laughs> Okay, so a guitar can make it can make music. So the guitar is the cause, the music is the effect. But what's the third? What's the Shakti? Yes, the musician. So you understand? It's important to understand that the cause cannot make an effect without Shakti. Okay, so what is now? Let's go back to Krishna and Radha. So Krishna, he's the original cause. And what does he want to like? Okay, a guitar makes music. A father makes children. What does Krishna make? Yeah. Yeah. You think about it right now. You may think a lot of things that he makes. Guitars, he makes fathers. <laughs> he makes the whole material world. 
すごい考えられですねクリシナクリシナのギターを作ったしお父さんを作るのもクリシナだし一体何を作る全宇宙全部クリシナを作ったかなというのは考えます。But that's not really his main interest. What is his main interest? What does he really want to do? Remember, go back to what I said before. What is he? Who is he? He's bliss. Krishna is bliss. So, what effect does he want to make? What cause, what, he's the cause, he's bliss. What effect does bliss want to have? <laughs> what do you think? Hmm? Enjoy? Yeah, to make you feel happy, to make, let you enjoy, to be in joy, right? Enjoyment. So the, a blissful cause wants to make an enjoyable effect. So this is called rasa. Krishna is the cause and rasa is the effect. Rasa means the taste of bliss. ラサというのは、えー、私服の味わいです。Yeah. So Krishna is the bliss. Krishna is the bliss, and Rasa is the effect. ですからクリシナが原因。そして、えー、ラサが効果です。But how will he achieve his effect? The guitar needs a musician. A father, a, 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 a husband needs a wife. How does Krishna generate Rasa? じゃあそこでです。えー、音楽の場合はギターを弾くのはミュージシャン。お,とお父さんの力のなお母さん。じゃあ一体クリシナがその効果として喜びを見るときに近くて言うとなるのは誰でしょうか I'll give you a hint. It's this entity begins, the name of this entity begins with the letter R. <笑>ヒントさせてあげましょう。えー、この近くて言うとなる人物の、えー、名前のお名前のスペルは R で始まります。So let's hear everybody, right? Ready? I'll ask you one more time. <笑> How does Krishna bliss? Generate the effect, rasa. How? How does Krishna generate the effect, rasa? But still, we need to think about it a little bit more carefully. How does Bliss become enjoyable. How does love become enjoyable? Let's say that Madam Mangal, you love me. You do. And I enjoy it. It's rasa. I feel it. I, I, I experience it. But how? How do I enjoy your love? I have to. Know that it exists, I have to become aware of it, right? If you love me but you never tell me, you never do anything that shows it, then I don't even know that you love me. I can't So, what is the way that love becomes enjoyed by expressing itself? This is What actually Krishna Shakti is? Krishna Shakti is love expression itself. It's Krishna Shakti is the expression of love. This is why we name her Radha. Literally, Radha means expressing love. でこれは文学的にその言葉的な意味とすればガーダというのは愛を表現するという意味です。We're not making these things up. We didn't pick somebody named Radha and say, oh, she's the original Shakti, and then we saw somebody else, and his name is Krishna, and we said, oh, he's the original cause. We, it's not like that. We, we know there's an original cause, and there's a, there's a Shakti from the cause. The name of the original cause is Krishna because he's all attractive. And the name of the Shakti is Radha because she's the expression of love. Okay, so try to understand, like when I said, Mujo no Kofuku, was it? 
これがこの真実を語っています。Syllable Om has three letters: A, U, and M. O, A, U, O, O と U と M と三つの文字でできています。This one syllable is a conception, complete conception of God. でこの一つこの説説が完全なる神を表しています。Krishna, this this is God. Krishna, Radha, and Rasa. クリシナとラーダとラーサこの3つです。The original cause, the original energy, and the original effect. 元々の原因、元々の効果、そして元々の力です。Effect. Oh yeah, okay, you said that. The the lover, the, I'm sorry, the beloved, the lover, and the love, which is enjoy. で愛する人、愛されるもの、そして楽しむべき愛です。So the letter A represents Krishna. ですから A はクリシナ。The letter U is Radha. U は Ra。And the letter M is Rasa, the effect of Krishna. M は Rasa です。Is this nice? I hope you believe me because it's true. Jiva Goswami explains it. これ Jiva Goswami が説明してくれたことです。He also gives other explanations. Okay. 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 I like one question. 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 One Radharani alone is not God. Krishna alone is not God. But the unit of Radha Krishna is the divinity whom we worship. Just see. So, Radha さんの質問ですけれども、そのラーダというよりもクリシナが神だと言った方が受け入れられるということなんですけれども、そうじゃないと。クリシナ一人、クリシナだけでは神じゃない。ラーダだけでも神じゃない。クリシナとラーダとラーサ、この三つが一つになって、それで初めて神なんだ。ということです。Shiva Jiva Goswami and Prabhupada translated and included in the Nectar of Devotion explains that Krishna does not refer just to a single entity, but it refers to Krishna with his energies and expansions. And this is how Acharyas think of the word Krishna when they say the word Krishna. But if you would like to make a point, because the class that I'm going to give in the afternoon is going to be, is God a man or a woman? So I'm going to expand on this point. Okay? So if you're one of, see, you can't teach everything to everybody all the time. You have to pick something to teach. You そうですね。いやもう今ねこのここのプラスを皆さんこう熱が入ってね。ちょっと短くして言わせていただきますと、そのプラパーダはそのクリシナが神だということですごくお話してらっしゃるじゃないかというところなんですが、しかしバクテリ
you know, we worship, uh, it's just, it just makes more sense to people to give one, one entity a name. So therefore we usually do like that. But if we want to explain tattva, we have to explain that. <laughs> ちょっと、<笑><笑> Listen to the songs of, that we sing tonight. The introduction program is going to sing one that's very relevant to your question, and this same one that's very relevant to your question. There'll be several that are very relevant. They explain that there's no such thing as Krishna without Radharani, there's no such thing as Radharani without Krishna. Well, that, that is clear as the sky, his words, you know. So if there's no such thing as Krishna without Radharani, why are you complaining? No, I don't complain. <laughs> <laughs> it says some kind of like a. I know what it is. Uh, it, I get we we get uh, uh, we get bread. Somebody greet us with a certain perception, you know, from the beginning of stage of consciousness. Yeah. I never heard somebody say God Rada in in in, uh, in uh, and it would be accurate to say. It would be same same say it would be equally accurate to say God Krishna. No, because if you say God Radha, you have the gender one. You have to say God is Radha. I think you've heard that before. Not really. No? Devi. Devi. But then it becomes like Devi is not really Radha. Radha is. Radhe Braja Devi Ke Chandalite. But if you address Radharani as Devi, for me, for that impression, you know, that's the girl from the love, let be all love, and affectionately, you know, next to Krishna, right? Yeah. But uh, you know when we talk about goddess. Anyway, you know you know who I am, right? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm the guy that comes in and I say things differently, okay. on purpose. I'll explain to you my mokteki. Mm -hmm. My mokteki, my motivation is, I want the people who are listening to my class to feel a little bit uncomfortable, so that they have to think, wait a minute, is this guy bona fide? I want you to think that, because I want you to, to figure out. I want you to think about what I'm saying. So I'm intentionally saying things different than you know, I'm intentionally saying things different than you've ever heard them before because I want you to really think about what it means. No worry, we understand. That's what we understand. You know what we understand. Yeah. Right. That's it. ま、<笑> もともと信じてる人はその3つが一体で神ということだけれどもその時とこに応じてその話し方をしているとうんでちょっと長くなってしまったまあそれちょっと話して違えまあそれ長くなってしまったまあそれちょっと長くなってしまったまあそれちょっ
Prabhupada stresses Krishna because Prabhupada is Radharani's Dasi. Therefore, he is stressing on Krishna just like she is. Yeah. So these topics don't please Radharani so much to glorify she, her. Just like Guru is not very happy on Kasanja. Very uncomfortable feeling. But on Radhasthami, we're allowed to do it. Otherwise, she doesn't want to hear it. But if you read all of Prabhupada, you'll see he's explaining Radharani is the ultimate object of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. <laughs> so, for example, there's a famous quote about Vrindavan from Prabhupada where he says, Even today in Vrindavan, you'll find all the devotees saying, Radhe Radhe, Radhe Radhe. He says, This is because the Radharani is actually the ultimate object of the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. And Prabhupada would always respond Hare Krishna. He wouldn't say Radha Radha back. Prabhupada didn't often say Radha 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 so you're not living out with Nityananda? Because Nityananda is the expansion of uh, Radharani. And that's the mind blowing. But Nityananda is the expansion of Radharani. This is why there's some question about Guru Tattva. Who's Guru? Is Guru Nitai? Is Guru Balaram? Or is Guru Radharani? Guru Nitai. I mean, they're Shakti. Is he Guru Shakti? Is he Guru Is Guru Balaram Shakti? Or Nitai Shakti? Or is he Radha Shakti? This confusion is there because they're the same Shakti. Like, like power is coming from Tokyo Power Plant. And then it's coming through Fune, Funabori station. Mm -hmm. So the power is coming through Funabori and then mm -hmm. coming here. Mm -hmm. So the same way, Radharani's power is coming out through Nita mm -hmm. and Balaram and then coming here. But that's the part that I skipped. How, how does this one energy become Ladini San Sandini Sanvit? I skip, but maybe we'll do it here and there in the other classes. Okay, go next. Go next, go next. No, no, no. Okay, go ahead. We've done the time. Okay. There's always something hidden about it. They become the Brazil, and everybody says, nobody said openly, but everybody's asking, who is the most important question? Who is the most important person in Brazil? And everybody says, Radha. Somehow, everybody, all Brazilians. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. There's no question about Krishna. Krishna without Radha, Radha without Krishna, uh, I mean, sorry, Krishna without Radha is not like important or something. Mm -hmm. right? When you feel actually when when Brazilians talk about you know Brazilian spirit, what's the most important thing which everybody is meditating there on is Radha. Mm -hmm. In Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also, the aspect of Radha is kind of hidden in him also, in one, in one sense, you know. So, I mean, you know, just uh, this kind of like a cloudy, whatever I said, but, but it, it is... Let it で、え、でも、その、その、ラダラリってのは少しこう秘めたっていうか隠れたような存在だと、例えばラブリンダーバに行って、え、ブリンダーバに行ってる人に、さあ、一番大事な、重要な人って誰ですかって言うと、みんな
あそうかそうかそれでチャイタニア・マハプラブの中にもこのラダーリーというのは少し秘められた存在になっていますオッケー、私はもう一つのポイントをリジェイ・クリシナプルーキュー・マンション・バーガー・ギータを聞いてくれていますけど、私はそれを聞いてくれていでもう一つ、そのビジェクリシナがおっしゃったことの中で、えー、一つ、あの、加えたいことがあるんですけど、さっき言いましたように、バガバッテギーターのこれ、ラーダーに名前が出てこないと。Every morning, except for on special occasions, we have シュマンバーガバッテギーター。毎朝私たちはシュマンで、あごめんなさい、バーガバッテギーターのクラスを聞いてますよね。The is that the is シュマンティーで、えー、バイシナワの結論。これは、えー、バーガバッテギーターのシュマンティーター。バーガータムはあーラダーナーになっているので。で私たちは外でそのプリーチングするプリーチ、プリーチングっていうのはシャクティ、力です。それがラダラーニです。クリスナから拡張されたものです。だからシーバタバーガバタムというのはラダラーニ。What is バーガ、What is バーガタム？It's バーガタム is Krishna's own preaching. It's his hook. He'll catch you on it, pull you towards him. What is that energy then? What is that バーガタム？ That's Radha. バーガータムというのはクリスナでクリスナがその光で連れてくるその力この力というのは何なのか、ね so、ララ言葉ですからシムデバーガータムに語られるすべての言葉これはラダラリの言葉と言います、okay. There's going to be questions tonight too. まあ、今日の夜も。だから、えー、と理解しなきゃいけないけどラダラニーというのはクリシナがそのエクスパンションする力を通っていくところなんですねだからそのバララームがそのクリシナの拡張体とも言えるしまたそこを通っているラダラニーの拡張体とも言えるはい、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、あっちょっと、そして意識を生み出す。And it generates form. That's what Bala. Bala そして姿を生み出す。その姿というのはバラです。Okay. But the, the Vishnu Purana gives three names for the Shakti's functions that you'll be more familiar with. Vishnu Pakti Shakti の方は3つのシャクティをもらう。Vishnu Purana。Vishnu Purana は3つのシャクティの名前を得ています。これ皆さんご存知のものです。ハディニ、サンディニ、サンベット、エカ。So, I don't know, In this one energy, 
the Ladini, Sandini, and Sanvit is situated. I'm sorry. Yeah. Bliss, form, and sentience are established in that one original Shakti. Okay, I'm going to keep hitting it. You're not going to keep hammering. Okay. Then here we go. No. Because i got to finish this. you got to hear the whole thing. I can't teach you if you just can't let you ask questions anytime. Sure. Okay? So, first function of the... Because you have to get the whole complete idea, and then you, then you see if you understand it. So don't think about your question right now. Think about what I'm saying. The first original Shakti is Ladini. It's bliss. But bliss has to be experienced, right? That's why the next function of the Shakti is Sanvit. The next function of the Shakti is Ishiki. You see? The point of Shakti is actually bliss, but it has to generate some bit. It has to generate sentience so that it can be experienced. And then the third function is Sandini. Sandini. It pulls things together into shapes and forms. So that this bliss and love can be expressed. So there's there's love, there's bliss, and then there's the ability to experience it, and then there has to be forms to express it, like boy, girl, uh, flowers, like this things, you know, boy, girl, flowers, good example. Boy, girl, flowers, you can express love, right? <laughs> so there has to be, there's love, there's the awareness of the love, and then there has to be things to express it. That's why Ladini, Sanvit, Sandini, they all come out of the original Shakti in this order. If you don't believe me, which I'm sure you don't, the, <laughs> siddha, siddha, the Siddhanta Ratna Sakti is this, this order. Tatra Sandini Sanvit Ladini Yorga Totaram Utkishanjya. I didn't make it up, okay? It's there in Siddhanta Ratna. You try to argue with that. <laughs> and now if you think about Ladini and Sandi and Sandini, this is Satchit Ananda. Which you've heard before, right? Everybody knows Satchit Ananda. Even people out there in yoga studios, they know Satchit Ananda. Sat is Sandini. Something that really is, has real reality. Chit is some bit consciousness. And Ananda is love. This is love. Right? So, so, so this is how the spiritual world becomes the material world. Through, you see? In the spiritual world, there's Ladini, Sanvit, Sandini, and Sanvit, and then it becomes Satchitananda, and then it comes into this, this world. It, it's it's coming into this world in the reflection of Satchitananda. Ah, it's too confusing. It's so hard to translate. <laughs> well, I think it'll be okay. 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 All right. Any questions? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I am in your debt. You have another question. Well, uh, I mean, you know, our consciousness is being expanded just like those flowers behind you. Seriously. But, uh, um, like, just. Uh, the, the question about Lord Balaram and expansion of Radha and Balaram, I think there is some kind of connection to the idea of, of Anagamajari, and if, if you can, if you can, this, that can help. Uh, it might help. The, you know, uh, because uh, Radharani's sister, Ananga Majari, she is Balaram, 
and she she becomes uh, she, uh, she 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 be, she's the manifestation of Balaram's desire to participate in Krishna's lila. So Balaram's desire uh, to become intimate to Radha and Krishna is manifested through the uh, uh, manifestation of Balaram Bhamajari through the sister of Radharani. They can explain kind of like more. Uh, uh, from actual Leela, from Rindavan, how he, what, what he said to, to uh, uh, the world. I don't think it explains that point, but I think it's beautiful. But I, it's, it's a wonderful thing that you said that, but I don't think it explains the point. Because my point is that some bit... But Balaram, by the way, do you know Balaram is Sandi Shakti Devata, Adi Devata. Fine. Balaram is Sandi Shakti Adi Devata. Did you know that? Yeah. So this proves that Balaram comes from Radharani. Because he's Sandini Shakti Adi Devata, that Sandini comes from Ladini. So this proves that, right? So then Prabhupada is making another point that sometimes Balaram has the same yeah, this can be proved. That sometimes Balaram has the same feelings as Radharani. So he wants to dance with Krishna and like that, but he can, it's a boy. It's Rasa Bhas. It's Viras. There's no Ras. So he becomes a girl. He becomes Radharani's sister. But this is your special thing, so you're going to Can I can I come home? Yeah. Uh, um and Sandi Sandini. Uh, Shakti is not from the uh, uh, Krishna Swarpa Shakti, Fradini, Sandit, Sandini. Not to separate the independent uh, the express, no. You, uh, I want to confirm the uh, actual from Swarpa Shakti. Uh, first, um, uh, Radini Shakti, then from Radini Shakti, expand. Uh, Confirmed. And, uh, the confirmation is here from a book called Siddhanta Ratna. Patra Sandini Sandit Ladanyurya Tottaram, one after the other. Yatottaram Ud Krishna Chaya. You should know, it says that they become they become real one after another in this order. Ladini, then Sandini, then Sandini. Landini, Samvit. Ah, going up, it's starting there. Ladini, Samvit, Sandini, in this order. Chaitanya Charitamrita says, Anandam se Ladini, Sat Ang se Sandini, Chit Ang se Amshe, Samvit. Then the Chaitanya Charitamrita explains that the Ladini becomes Ananda and the Sandit becomes Chit and then the Sandini becomes Sat. Muskashi name, Minasan. Nihongo. It's so much Sanskrit, you practically can't translate it. So, Ladini to Sandit to Sandini, Mitsu Kura Barabara Mojo Nakyo to Tesni, Kikini. The Ladini ga Anani, Anuna, the Sandit ga Sat, Chitka, Minate, Sandini ga Sat. Yeah. Anybody have a question? You see, uh, like um, Prabhuji told no. Vrindavan, uh, everybody worship only Radha, they give just importance only to Radha. But yeah. then Radharani is not happy if we not give importance to Krishna because for Radharani Krishna is everything. Yeah. So how to worship like only Ra <coughs> worshipping Radharani? This is giving some give some confusion sometimes. Wait, good question. Can you translate it? Uh, Mataji, she asked that everybody in Vrindavan that she said that Radhika Ramaprabhu said that everybody in Vrindavan is only is interested in Radharani. Hmm. And but Radharani is interested in Krishna. So how can you how can you worship Radharani? It's but she doesn't want to be worshipped. She wants people to worship Krishna. Right? Mm -hmm. That's your question. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. Uh, 
そのメディアの入りしたミニアラーダを崇拝していると言っていましたけれどもラーダラーニーはそのクリシナを愛しいクリシナを崇拝しているでそうすればラーダラーニーとしてはみんながクリシナを崇拝してほしいと思うはずで自分を崇拝してほしいと思わないんじゃないかとそこがややこしいと。でまた、えー、とクリシナの強調しなければクリシナのことを崇拝を強調しなければラーダラーニーは喜ばないんじゃないかとちょうど、えー、シータを崇拝し,しないで、えー、ラーマを崇拝してほしいとシータを望むはずだと。So that's perfect. That's why you should でカラタバージャというグループがありました。This, this group deviated from the Gaudiya Vaishnav Siddhanta by saying, Guru is God, so let's just worship Guru. We, let's, who cares about Krishna? Guru is most important. Let's just worship Guru. 例えばそのグループの中で言ったのは、Guru というのは神だと。ということは、Guru を崇拝すれば神は崇拝しなくていいやと。バクティベラタークやバクティスランタはそれはそれはバカげてる。で、人を崇拝して、クリスチャンの名前だけ使うと、それは他の宗教になることだと。So, で、それと同じことです。だから、ラーダラーニーをだけを崇拝する。これはカルタバージョンです。で、yeah, so this is a, this is our friend アインドプロゥ。この点をあアインドラ・プラブは強調していらっしゃいました。でも、ラーダラーニーはそれを言っていました。私はラーダラーニーに入門を受けた友達が何人かいます。ですから、彼らは彼らの考えを持っていました。ですから、彼らは彼らの考えを持っていました。ですから、彼らは彼らの考えを持っていました。ですから、えー、と